Hey everyone, this is Chase, a Rocky Mountain HVMC, giving you a closer look at the Pilot Soft Pannier Bags from Tusk. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. Today we're giving you a closer look at the Pilot Soft Pannier Bags from Tusk. If you're after a rock solid set of pannier bags that's going to have a lot of storage capacity, really good construction, at a very affordable price point, this is definitely a set of bags that you want to consider. Now, as many of you know, we log thousands of miles each and every year on our adventure rides. And not too long ago, we took all that experience, all those miles that we have logged, and we used that to build the pilot bags. And we're very happy with the way these turned out. And since they've come out, they've been very well received, they've been very popular, but we didn't want to stop there. We didn't want to be complacent, so we looked for ways and areas that we could improve these bags. And if you're familiar with the pilot bags, there's three big key updates that you're now getting with these. You now have just a new updated look to them. You now have the ability to add the water bottle holder or any other items that you want to use in the molly webbing that you have on the side. And the third big update is the strap system. So you now have a different strap system for the mounting and that also adds to the durability as well because all the straps and all the buckles on here are now replaceable. Now, if you're not familiar with the Pilot Pannier bags, do not worry, we're gonna go through, be very thorough and talk about everything that you are getting with these. But storage capacity. These for us hit the sweet spot. You're 35 liters of storage capacity per side. So you get 70 liters total. So you can get a lot of gear inside here. We'll run the Pilot Pannier, bag, or pannier bags with a tail bag or a tank bag for those longer rides. We can get all our gear in here just fine. In fact, we just did a very long ride not too long ago in Idaho. It was more than a seven day ride. And with these bags and a big tail bag and a, pan and a tank bag, we had all the gear that we needed for that ride. Now, as far as the construction goes, that is one aspect about these that we wanted to make sure we got right. We know that riders are going to really abuse these things and put them through the ringer. So we use a 2520 denier heavy duty nylon. It's a very heavy duty fabric. You've also got on the bottom, you can see that gray material. That's a TPU fabric that goes along the entire bottom. That's just gonna add to the abrasion resistance and durability there. You also have a panel on the back, which goes between the bag and your pannier rack. That's just gonna add some durability there. That's also replaceable if it does wear out. And again, like I said, with the straps and the buckle system, you've got YKK buckles and hardware on here, but if something were to happen, you can replace all the straps or buckles if you do need to. So again, some of the big updates that we wanna do with these bags. Now, as far as mounting goes with these, these are designed to work with pannier racks and they're universal. So they're honestly gonna work with just about all pannier racks that are out there. So once you have your pannier racks installed, to get these mounted up, it's very simple. We'll go through that real quickly, and then we'll open these up. We'll show you the roll top closure. We'll show you the dry bag that also comes included on the inside. But to mount these up, simple. You're gonna drape them over the motorcycle. Now what I recommend is when you're putting these on for the first time, just do everything loosely. Don't go cinching everything down right away. Get the bags where you want them positioned first, then go through and cinch everything down. But you're gonna drape the bags over the bike. Now you do wanna be mindful of where your exhaust is. Look at that, make sure your straps aren't getting too close to that, just prevent those from getting damaged. We do have heat shields available if you do need to pick one up if you are worried about your exhaust. But drape it over the bike. Now, another important aspect when it comes to the mounting. Now these top straps, they actually do come attached to the bag on the metal buckles, but you know, if you do remove them for some reason or have to replace them, you wanna make sure that you route them on the buckles the way that we're showing you, and that's just gonna prevent those from coming loose. So once you have that done correctly, you get the bags the length that you want it. And now on the front here, again, you notice that we have, you would think it's four straps, but this is one of the updates. You've got your four corners, but this is actually two straps. Each strap, so the top strap, actually wraps all the way around the back of the bag and to the other side. And once you have these bags positioned where you want them, you just take each side, you go around the pannier, the pannier rack and then back through and then cinch that down. Very simple to do that. So then once you have all those straps around your pannier rack, you've got everything where you want it to be, then you go through, cinch everything down. So mounting on these, very simple to do. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this up. We'll show you that roll top closure and the dry bag on the inside. So when you're opening these up, you've got your two compression straps on the top. Now the easiest way to undo these is all you're gonna do is just undo the buckle, give yourself a little bit of slack here. We give you plenty of length on these straps, by the way. So no matter how much gear you have inside here, you can always get it cinched down nice and snug. But just give yourself plenty of snack with this buck, slack with this buckle, and then I just drape it right over the side, just like that. So I'll do that here on the other side. Again, give yourself slack. Drape it right over. Then you have your two compression straps on the sides. So undo those. 
Once I have those opened up, there is your roll top. And there is your dry bag. So you don't have to use a dry bag if you don't want to. For us on our rides, we always like to use it even if we're not worried about getting wet just because, you know, again, you can put your gear inside here, you can take it out with you, and then when you're ready to go on your ride again, you just put the dry bag back inside there, you're ready to rock and roll. These are 100% waterproof. The bag by themselves are not, so just keep that in mind. Last thing we want to talk about is that water bottle holder that I talked about earlier. So again, one of the updates, you now have Molly webbing on one side of these bags. And keep in mind too that if you do attach, say, this water bottle holder or something else, if you don't like it being on the front, you could just flip the bags around and it would be facing the back of the bike. But you got the water bottle holder, use the Molly sticks to put that on there. Again, anything that you have that you could attach using that Molly webbing, feel free to put it on there. You've got a compression strap right here that comes over and across to help cinch that down, keep it nice and snug. And that is it. That is the Pilot soft pannier bags from Tusk. 70 liters of storage capacity. You now have the ability to add even more with the water bottle holder or whatever you want. You've got added durability with the replaceable buckles and the straps and overall rock saw construction. If you have questions or comments, we want to get those answered, so make sure to leave those below. To pick up your next set of these bags, you can click on the link or just head to rockymountatbmc.com. And remember, while you're there, if you're looking to outfit your entire bike with luggage, we've got these bags, we've got our tail bags, we've got the Tusk tank bags, we even have the Sidekick tank bags now as well. So we have a lot of different great gear options to help outfit your bike to get you ready for your next ride. Orders are over 75 bucks ship free. If you guys like this product spotlight, you want to see more just like it, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel and stay up to date. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.